Hello, Sebastian Lacedo here. Welcome to 5-Minute Fresh Start. I'm in Matthew chapter 25 and verse 1. It says, the kingdom of heaven shall be likened unto ten virgins. Whenever the Bible says the kingdom of heaven shall be likened unto, what the Bible is teaching us is how the kingdom of God works. And it's much different than the kingdoms of earth and the things on earth. So our antenna should go up that we're, he's teaching us a principle. He's teaching us something that we need to know about the kingdom. It says, then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened unto ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Now five of them were wise and five of them were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps, took no oil with them, <coughs> but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. And while the bridegroom delayed, they all slumbered and slept. So let's get a, a picture here. There's 10 virgins, so they're all equal. They're all the same. Uh, virgins, you know, means that never been with a man, right? They're waiting for the bridegroom. Their mission is to wait for the bridegroom. Their mission is that, that, that they be prepared that when the bridegroom shows up, they would have oil in their lamps to bring light for the bridegroom, for Jesus when he comes. Five were wise, so they had oil. Five were foolish, so they didn't have oil. And the bridegroom delayed, so there was a long delay. And so they all were tired. They were all were sleepy. At midnight, a cry was heard, and behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out and meet him. All those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the wise, give us some of your oil, for our lamps are, are going out. The wise answered and said, no, at least there should not be enough for us and you. Or rather, go to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went out to buy, uh, buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding, and the door was shut. Afterwards, the other virgins came, also saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Surely I say to you, I don't know you. Watch, therefore, for you neither know the day or the hour in which the Son of Man is coming back. Very important lesson. Uh, first of all, they're all equal. They all have a specific mission to bring light. Their whole purpose is to bring light for the bridegroom's return. Five of them were wise and five were foolish. What was, what was missing from the foolish was oil, which is a type of the anointing. It's a type of the Holy Spirit. It's a type of the, um, you know, the, the, the power of God. And so five of them had oil and five didn't. So they all had the ability, they all had the same ability. The wise ones, and we need to understand this, this is all about relationship. The wise ones were filling their lamp continually by walking in the spirit of God. They were studying the word of God, praising God, worshiping God, engaging with the Holy Spirit and filling. We see in Acts chapter four that when they prayed, they were all filled with the spirit again. Same group that was filled on the day of Pentecost. In, in Ephesians, it says that, you know, that we speak to ourselves in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs and be filled with the Spirit. There isn't just one infilling of the Spirit. There's a, the Spirit of God comes upon us, but we have to fill ourselves with that anointing daily. We have to worship and praise God and study the Word of God to fill ourselves daily. You know, otherwise, it's not a relationship. I, you know, let me give you an example. We're likened to a, a, the Bride of Christ. And so, you know, basically, can you be the bride of Christ if you, you know, a fellowship with him on the seventh of uh, the month and don't do anything until the 30th of the month? Could you do that with your husband or your wife? No, this we're called to this daily. And that's what this is saying. They were foolish in that they did not have uh, any oil or any anointing. They went dry. And so we are tasked to fill ourselves up by prayer by fasting, by worship, by praise, by studying the word of God and growing spiritually, we grow in that anointing and that anointing will bring light. And that's the light that we're supposed to bring to the world before the return of Jesus. So that's our broadcast for today. Please share this with family and friends. We're a remote ministry. Share it with others, help them, you know, see our ministry, introduce our ministry to them. Please use us. I mean, you may only watch Five Minute Fresh Start, but we have 30 different things going on, you know, weekly. So, I mean, join us uh, on that journey. Let us join you on your journey to know God and his word. Um, we've been, 
you know, putting our new stuff together. So I've, I've backed off on some of the productions, but all of them will be full, full force in the next two weeks. Uh, and then also, please pray about joining us financially. We need your help. We need, uh, you know, just something monthly to help us. If everybody that uh, uh, that we spoke into their lives did something, even small, 10 bucks a month, 20 bucks a month, 30 bucks a month, uh, it would help tremendously. Anyway, God bless you and have a great, great day. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.